be difficult for me to climb out of my pajamas. I'd have to skin myself. But yes, good morning. My name is Steph Winterbull and on camera today we have VM and this is the massive herd of Impala that we've got living on quarantine and one of my favorite things to come and see in the morning to be quite honest with you. It is an enormous herd of Impala. It is at its largest right now. What we're going to be seeing over the next couple of months is these Impala going into the rut. Let's quickly look at that VM if I could point you in that direction. There's a, a baby Impala nursing that baby impala, that's is one of the last months that we'll see these baby impala. They were born at the end of last year, nursing. They are almost fully weaned. And what will stop it is their mothers coming into estrus in around about the second week of May. So the rut, which is when all the male impala are going to be at the height of their aggression towards one another, happens in May. And from now, their testosterone levels are increasing with the in, with a decreasing light during the day as we're approaching a, um, as we move away from the summer solstice so as the daylight gets shorter and the night times get longer the impala's testosterone levels start to increase and they are going to start to separate themselves from the herd and the reason for that is because the larger more dominant bigger male impalas are going to start to pressurize the younger and the older male impala outside of the herd they form these little bachelor herds of impala away from the main herds and the main herd is defended by a male impala now that male impala can be usurped throughout the the rut which lasts for about a month and it it, it ends in this absolute frenzy it, it the roaring of the impala we're going to be starting to see it from probably in the next couple of days to the next couple of weeks male impala making this awful noise sticking their big purple tongue out their mouth they look really really weird um, lots of middens around that are actively used all the time and then fighting and as we get closer to may may these male impala are going to be fighting to a point where some of them will actually die the biggest of the male impala, the strongest of the male impala, quite often will stab one another with their horns right into the body cavity that kills them. And we find impala carcasses all over the place uh, with puncture wounds in them. But now you're not going to get impala herds that are bigger than we get right now. It's the best time of the year. All the impala are together. They're feeding together. They're looking after one another. And that is what the net effect of that is. So let's turn around and have a look at these impala just to show you what they are. I would imagine that in years gone past when or before the herds were decimated for food that this is maybe what it, what it used to look like. In old books uh, I've heard of impala herds being described as smoke in the grass and you can almost see what that means when they're moving in layers the back herd of impala moving faster than the front herd it does look like mist or smoke moving through the grass and they're just such a beautiful antelope they're very common here and of course we we quite often just drive past them and don't spend a lot of time with them whatsoever but this group of impala that is on quarantine has become quite relaxed with us let's see if we can single out some males at the back of the herd there's two big males that are walking past one another you can see their horn tips so what are you looking at in terms of a mature mature impala one that is going to be vying for competition for mating rights this year their horn tips the last inch or so of horn if they are parallel with each other that is a mature impala ram if the horn tips the last the last inch or so are facing towards one another they're too young and if they're facing away from each other they're too old and we will start to see that when these bachelor herds start forming from all different types of impala ages uh, that the youngsters will quite often be wrestling against the old guys uh, while the dominant ones the ones with the parallel horns are the very serious uh, impala they don't play games like that they have to wrestle all right 